the Lukova shit game or supreme shit game database entry number six. <coughs> this is Kenny Dalgleish Soccer. Uh, it was also given the title Kenny Dalgleish Soccer Match. Uh, I don't know. I assume that was in America or something. As if anyone in America is going to know who the fuck Kenny Dalgleish is. In case you don't know, uh, he made his name playing for well, first Celtic and then Liverpool. Also played for the Scottish national side. Uh, in the 80s. So, shock horror, this is a football game. Um, now this was released by uh, Impressions Software and I can only assume that uh, the reason they went with that name is that uh, they made vague impressions of uh, computer games because they certainly couldn't program actual computer games as you are about to discover. Um, so yeah, they, they did a sort of vague impression of one hence the name. Alright, well, let's just get a game underway. I mean, you see here, yeah, okay, it's vaguely recognisable as Kenny Dalgleish, drawn in a sort of caricature uh, style. Yeah, right, anyway. So, uh, how many players? I, I don't know what three or four players means I don't know if that means there'll be two different games or if there would be you know two players on each side either of them seem to be a bit too advanced for this lot but still anyway one all right game speed there's not a vast difference between the two actually we'll stick with normal all right so uh Uh, player 2, give it uh, one that is quite suitable for this game. Uh, skill level. Uh, well, skill level 9, oh dear, uh, they are beyond brain dead. So we'll give my side and the computer team skill level 1. Uh, match length. I mean, it feels like a fucking eternity no matter how long you play. I, I dread to think what it would be like to play a 90 minute game on this. Needless to say, I am not going to do it this time. So we'll go with 10 minutes, five minutes aside. And away we go. No whistle to signify the start. Right, so I've, I've got the ball. Now bearing in mind, so both players of both sides are at skill level one, you know, the top skill level. I look at the fucking state of it. I can't help noticing also that uh, the players that are being controlled have inverted crosses over the top of their heads. It's as if this is saying this is the fucking work of the devil. But I mean, Satan was never so evil as to inflict this. There you go, there's the goalkeeper gone past him and walked the ball straight in the back of the net and we score a goal. Except the word goal never appears. You just get Kenny Dalgleish there. Right, so... Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, so that counted as an own goal even though I'm sure I kicked it uh, the wrong side of the post. Right, so it's 1-1. One, one. Look at the fucking state of it. As oh well, their, their goalie didn't do anything. Instead, one of their players, who was not even on the actual pitch, came in through uh, the back of the goal and then defended. So again, all right, we got it. Oh no, he's taking it off. Let's see. I right, trying to actually get you know move in a diagonal with the ball is nigh on impossible so much so the computer controlled uh, players are totally incapable of doing it they just cannot yeah. 
There you go. That really impressive whistle there. So now I've got to take goal kick. All right. So one of his players is clearly offside here. The other two have decided they're going to wait in the fucking goal net. <laughs> right, anyway, trying to actually kick the ball is so fucking awkward that I just use... This is the goalkeeper here. <laughs> running from his goal area, or the edge of the six-yard box. I've, I've managed to get it all the way to the uh, opponent's goal. There was no sign of the opponent's goalkeeper there. And my keeper is now moving around like he's an outfield player he's he's not trying to get back in fact now i'm in control of him again so we're now trying to uh and now he's standing there no attempt to get back in goal <laughs> and there he is and he's got in my fucking way <laughs> right so and now who am i controlling are oh, the goalie and even though the <laughs> computer control player had a completely open goal, he uh, he shot the ball wide. So now I've got this computer control player right in front of the fucking ball. This one here, way offside again. And another one inside the goal again. So, right, can I... Yeah, okay, so I'll dribble the ball straight past him. Fucking hell. What a fucking pile of shit. As soon as you, you try and turn, you know, to run in a diagonal or whatever, you leave the ball behind. You, you never really have the ball in you know, under control. So, right, so, again, got it. <sighs> See if we can run from one end of the pitch to the other again. Yeah, that that uh, player there, the uh, opponent, kindly ran out of the way. All the other players are running out of the way. The their goalie finally stopped it. And so this is him running with the ball towards my goal, but they move so slowly. Remember, both teams are supposed to have the same uh, skill level. So we got there and yeah, went, ran straight past the keeper who did nothing and walked the ball into the net. So I'm now leading 2 1. Alright, see if we can do it again. Well, we walked past the keeper, but uh, yeah, I had to turn, so uh, that meant the ball got left behind. And now my player, I think he, sta he stood on the ball, and uh, so it, yeah, it's again ends up going behind me. And there's half time, right? So we get a quick message from Kenny in ha at half time uh, keep running. All right, uh, that's, that's fucking useful. So now I'm shooting left to right and uh, that makes the game a lot more difficult now because uh, I, I don't want to, yeah, yeah there you go, so it's, uh... <laughs> right, it's 2-2, two, two. but as soon as I get the ball, yeah, the, uh, the team that's playing and moving right to left, uh, they will always take control of it, of uh, the ball there and yeah, there we go. And the ball is never actually in anyone's control. You can you can sort of run with it, but you, you're still not actually in control of the fucking thing. Uh, the goalkeeper is utterly fucking useless. He never dives. He never uses his fucking hands. So if the ball goes anywhere near him, he just kicks it like a, an outfield player. And... Right, so I've right, got the uh, ball again. Right, here we go. 4 2 behind. I've had one warm up go. That game, I did manage to score six goals. I also conceded 12. So, alright. So, someone finally kicked it. I've just realised, even though I've been, you know, 
in possession of the ball, I've never actually pressed the fire button to kick it. So if I get the ball, I'll try and do that, but no, at the moment, okay, it's gone out for a goal kick, I think. Yep, right. So again, two players offside. They're all supposed to be outside the fucking uh, goal area at this moment. Right, so that's what happens when you kick the ball. You kick it into completely open space. It's no wonder the, the game is played in near total silence because, I mean, I know most football fans are utterly fucking brain dead cunts, but come on, who the fuck would pay money to watch this? Ah, oh, fucking hell. It is possible to actually get the ball to, to move. I can't even see the ball. There are so many players crowding around it. But yeah, it is actually possible to get the ball to move in a diagonal. But to give you some idea of how difficult it is, the computer controlled players cannot do it. So, if they are running forward, you know they will not be able to score. Ah, oh, fucking what? They will not be able to score uh, unless they somehow manage to get uh, the ball moved across the uh, face of goal uh, first. Right, that's... See, again, I had the player there. For some reason, he seemed to back heel it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking pile of shit <laughs> and the worst things about this game are, are still yet to come right, and, and, and again it's changed control of my player uh, <laughs> right that that was supposed to be taken from the the uh, centre spot there. The ball was absolutely nowhere fucking near it. And again, my player he starts moving with the ball and then back heels it to the opponent. And because once again, I had a, a, an opponent right next to me as I was taking the goal kick. So here we go and. Okay, so from point-blank range, he kicks it wide. Again, opponent uh, players in completely uh, the wrong position. It is just utterly fucking laughable. So I managed to get the ball all the way to, to the... There. And now the ball's been moved by who? There's, there's no one actually in possession of the ball. And they still managed to kick it wide. <laughs> what a fucking pile of shit! Oh, so the <laughs> player decides to stand right in front of the ball between the goalkeeper and the ball so you know taking the uh, free kick was just a uh, free kick the goal kick was just there are no free kicks in the game there's no penalties in the game there is absolutely fuck all in the game it's just a load of players with inverted crosses over the top of their heads it's all like vaguely wandering around doing absolutely fucking nothing Now, I, I kicked that ball out, but it stopped on the uh, line there, so there's no corners in the game. <laughs> oh, shit, doesn't even come close to describing what this fucking thing is like. Uh, that looked like it went in, but it said, no, he's kicked it wide. And there we go. Not even a uh, full-time whistle, it just stops. So there you go. Cunt wins 6-2. Defense, we are. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> right, well, 
I'll select no so that we can. Oh fucking hell! That was a fuck up by me. Well, let, let's let's get to the, this sort of review started. Graphics are staggeringly shite. I mean, the, the, the still images are, you know, sort of okay-ish, but uh, they are not on screen for very long. Um, the sound effects are horrendous. That's the crowd going wild as a goal has been scored. Um, most of the game is played in near silence, it's just got this sort of really shitty sort of sound of uh, in kicking the ball as I again just walk it past the keeper. So, you know, it's like there's no crowd at all, but I can't say I blame her. If, no matter how much of a fucking football fan you are, you would not fucking uh, pay to uh, watch. <laughs> and they still <laughs> kicked it out. <laughs> Absolutely no sort of attempts to program in, uh, you know, players that even follow the rules of football, as is demonstrated every single time I take a goal kick. Um, there are no free kicks, no penalties, no corners uh, in the game at all. I mean, it is just one almighty fucking shit fest. <laughs> so again, walking it out from... Uh, from the goal kick, I'll, I'll actually try kicking the ball. There we go. Right, so the goalie is now. What? <laughs> <coughs> what the fuck happened there? So the ball sort of walked back to uh, where my uh, goalie was. I haven't got a clue who I'm in control of, and after all that, they still miss. Oh, never mind being the worst football game I've ever played. This is the worst sports game I've ever played. It just defies belief. And I say the worst is still yet to come. So my goalkeeper finally buggers off back down to his, his goal. And again, I try and turn and, and leave the ball behind. <laughs> I, I, oh, fuck it. I... I I just don't know the words to describe this fucking thing. There are no words in the English language that are close to being adequate to describe just what a fucking shit pile this game really is. That's, that player had the ball and, and was just standing there. What the fuck happened there? Uh. I can't believe it's... Oh, fuck it, hell, there's a corner. Well, oh, fuck me. That was worth it. The thing is, I'm sure it was the uh, computer that kicked the ball out. Okay, so there are corners, but they are staggeringly rare, <coughs> to the extent that that was the first time I saw one. Um, but there are definitely no free kicks or penalties, because you can't 
tackle really. All you can do is walk in front of the player and, and hope that you uh, come away with the ball. So my goalie again, he's, he's hanging around here like an out, outfield player. He's, he's not actually, he's now just standing there, making no attempt to actually get back in the fucking goal. And then there's the fact that if you're shooting left to right, and you walk over a player like this, you know, you move over the top of him, you will always come away with the ball. So if you're shooting right to left, you really are on a fucking hiding and nothing because there is nothing you can do that will result in you being able to actually get the ball off someone. <laughs> right on the stroke of half time, quick message from Kenny. Midfield support the attack. Yeah, yeah okay. Right, so here we go then. Second half. I can't believe I've played nearly, well, one and a half games of this fucking thing. Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, it is simply staggering just how much this game how big a sack of shit it is I you know I've said it before about games but it definitely applies to this it is such a load of bollocks it should have been fucking sold in a scrotum Can I get it past the keeper? Yep, because he's just running back with me, so... Uh, <laughs> it's 4-3. Alright, well I'm... Yeah, so I was not in line with the goal, so I was never going to be able to score. I had to try and move. Right, here we go. But now, from this position, if any blue player comes along in front of us, I won't be able to get the ball. Where are they all running to? God, you... <laughs> so, the most amazing thing about this game looking at it and listening to it and seeing how it plays when do you think this game came out when do you think it was published nope you're wrong this was released in 1990 i i shit you not 1990 this came out that looked like it missed oh fuck you know it actually did count as a miss as well oh another fucking uh, corner i've actually seen two corners now 1990 I'm, tr I'm trying to get, like, yeah, a, a, a forward player to actually, you know, be controllable. But no, it, it was trying to keep it with the goalkeeper. So this fucking bollocks was released in 1990. How much do you think it was? 199 going? Maybe 299? No. <laughs> this <laughs> was a fuck you full price game. This cost nine ninety nine. Ten quid for this. <laughs> You've almost got to fucking admire the fact that they had the sheer nerve to ask well any money at all, let alone fucking ten quid for this thing. <laughs> right, 
Right, so my goal is now down in their penalty area. So, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Alright, uh, oh, fucking hell, I actually managed to uh, do some defence. There's no point in me uh, passing the ball because passing or shooting is exactly the same. So, I haven't got a clue who it will go to. I mean, no surprise, right? all the reviews absolutely annihilated this fucking shit pile. Um, Commodore Force reviewed it and scored it uh, 5%. To put that in the context, they uh, gave Cisco Heat 9%. So Cisco Heat scored almost double what this fucking thing got. But I mean, not everybody who, uh, you know, was a gamer back in the day bought magazines. And there was almost certainly going to be some scouser out there who, you know, saw Kenny Dalglish soccer and thought, ah, oh, fucking Kenny Dalglish, my favourite player, I've got to get it. And they were, <laughs> they spent 10 quid and got this. <laughs> <laughs> so they finished a 4 4 draw. good game port it was not a fucking good game it never is a good game on here so there you go Kenny Dalglish soccer this really does deserve its place on the supreme shit game database uh, football games don't get any worse than this and 1990 10 quid for this And there was an Amiga version of this that came out. I think that was... I think that was 25 quid. Again, it was a full price Amiga game. So it may have even been 30 quid. And that is no better. Um, I don't know if I can actually force myself to... Uh, review this game again when I eventually start doing Amiga titles. Uh, so maybe check that one on on YouTube as well. It it's uh, it is just absolutely fucking horrendous, and I say that as if this isn't. So yeah, Kenny Dalglish soccer absolutely deserving of its place on here. Um, if I, I'm trying to find something positive to say about it, the only thing I can say is it's not our feeder zone pet. That really is the only positive thing I can say about this this fucking shite. All right, there we go. Um, I almost dread to think what's next.